Good morning, GMS. I'm Courtney. And I'm Vaughn. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of February 27, 2023. Let's get started. For any Boro girl in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade who likes futsal, there are games every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. at the high school in the activity complex. The PTS Skate Party will be on this Tuesday, February 28th from 6 to 8 at the Franklin Skate Club. Admission is $4 and skate rental is 2 If any 6th or 7th grader that is in band or choir and are not interested in it anymore, your parents can email Miss Marshall. Now let's get to the interview of the week, top trending in GMS sports. Have a great week, everybody. Welcome to the GMS News Show interview of the week. I am Caleb Blanquito here with instructional assistant, Mrs. Witted. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Caleb. How are you? Good. Would you like to start, tell, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, like Caleb said, I'm an instructional assistant for the sixth grade. Um, I'm currently in school. I'll be graduating in two years with a degree in education. I plan on hopefully one day being able to teach sixth grade math. Cool. Do you work best alone or with a team? I think I work best with a team. What was the very first job you had? The very first job I ever had was at a daycare. Interesting. If you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, I would want to be able to grow and control plants. If you were going to write a book, what would it be what would it be about and what would you make the title? If I were going to write a book, I would want to write a book for preteens. I would want to be able to help them understand mental illnesses and I would probably title it It's Okay to Not Feel Okay. Thank you for coming on our show today, Miss Witted. Have a have a great week. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Top Trending where we share the weird and to top trending stories of the week. I'm Madison and I'm Cohen. Let's get started. Number one, according to Doggo News, nine-year-old fossil hunter discovers massive megalodon tooth. Molly Sampson and her sister Natalie went shark tooth hunting. Though it was a frigid 10 degrees Fahrenheit, Molly was determined to find something. Molly walked deep into the ocean with low tide, and after about 30 minutes, Molly noticed something big just below the surface. To her delight, she reached down in the water and grabbed a huge megalodon shark tooth. Number two, according to Good News Network, students write adorable letters on behalf of shelter animals to boot, boost adoptions, and it worked. Kelsey Jones, a second grader from Richmond, Virginia, has helped the dogs at Richmond Care and Control by writing personalized notes for the dogs. She had to do a writing assignment for school and she chose to give back. She pitched the idea to the shelter, shelter shelter ma manager and she loved it and within three weeks the adoption rates had gone up because of health most of the dogs would have been in euthanized but thanks to one wonderful girl these pups were saved finally we have one last update flacco the owl that escaped a new york zoo and captured the heart of New Yorkers, has now become New York's latest tourist attraction. As we reported last week, Flacco escaped the Central Park Zoo when his habitat was vandalized. Zoo officials tried to recover Flacco and return the Eurasian eagle owl back into the zoo. Those efforts proved difficult, and the zoo has officially called off those recover recovery efforts. Meanwhile, Flacco is leaving, living his best life in Central Park, Park to delight of bird watchers and tourists. Spending a majority of, of his life watching, being watched by people, he is having no problem hunting and living his best life right in front of spectators. All of us here at GMS News Show wish Flacco nothing but the least as he continues living his life free of restrictions. That's all for Top Training. Have a great week, GMS. Hello, welcome to sports. I'm Addie. And I'm Eliza. Let's look at this week's home events. On Monday, February 27th, there will be girls basketball 7th and 8th grade versus John Woodman starting at 5.30 p.m. at GMS. On Wednesday, March 1st, boys wrestling mid-state versus Beach Grove at 5 p.m. at GMS. That's all for sports. Bye! 
Hello GMS, this week is time to do our weather forecast. So, this will be the week of February 27th to March 3rd up there. And on Monday, it will be 60 degrees at Fahrenheit, pretty warm, ending off February pretty good. February, although winter goes till March 21st, it really ends at March 1st, let's be honest. And uh, this, is, this winter's been very mild, so probably because I'm telling you about it. Tuesday, uh, it's March 1st. Everyone loves March. Things get warmer. It's just better. I still have assignments, but, like, it's better. 52 degrees high, 34 low. Not that windy or anything. It's just, like, an average day. It's good considering that we're still in winter, but uh, not great. And then Wednesday, 58 degrees. You could probably just wear, like, a shirt and pants, and you'd be fine. And not that much rain or precipitation or anything. It was thundering on Monday, but now it's fine. And then Thursday, kind of the exact same thing, just slightly different temperature. And the precipitation's the same. It's almost a pattern. It's kind of awkward. And then Friday, it's just cloudy, 45 degrees and 20. That's all for weather this week. Hi guys, welcome to Roll Call. I'm Nolan, and today we're asking kids, what would you do if you won the lottery? I would probably fix up things, then I would move away from my parents and buy a mansion. I would save 50%, give 25% to my friends and family, and spend 25%. I would buy stocks. I would probably donate probably 50% to an animal shelter, invest 25% and keep the other 25%. I'd buy a house and a car. Yeah. I would buy the country.